All right, welcome back here to The Hill on News Nation. As Vice President Harris and Donald Trump stump in the battleground states today, the polls in those swing states continue to basically show a dead heat. The race has been remarkably stable in the last couple months or so, but month or so, really, but there has been a bit of movement as well. Styrol, looking into the numbers, breaking it all down. Chris? Okay, <clears throat> let's start with what we know. Element number one, yes. our first beautiful graphic here on the big board. So here is your average in the Decision Desk HQ polling average nationally, October 2nd, one month, one month ago from today okay. compared to today. Yep. What do you see? Trump up one, Harris down 1.6. Hmm. Why is that? We could talk about why. We could talk about did he get a point from her? Did a point of undecided come in? It's all very interesting. We'll find <laughs> out in six days. But I want you to look at the second Beautiful graphic on the big board. Number two, here you go. How about Pennsylvania? Hmm. How about Pennsylvania? How does this compare to that? She's down less in Pennsylvania now than she is nationally, hmm. and he's up about the same. He's right. gained about the same. Maybe, maybe he's he was getting those people who were sideline sitters. Maybe huh. he was getting those people who were sideline okay. sitters. But maybe it's not statistically significant. Why don't we look at Georgia, which is his Pennsylvania, Donald Trump's Pennsylvania is, where's she? Basically the same, thing. and he's come in big. Again, it tells us, it points us to the idea that what happened in October was that people who were undecided were really Republicans who were just, it took them this last little bitsy bit huh. to come in and, and join the party uh, that they were gonna be part of anyway. What about Michigan? What about Michigan? Good question, how about number four? Show us beautiful number four, here's Michigan. Hmm. What do you see? Tighter ah, margins. It's very tight in Michigan. Yep. It's very tight in Michigan. And last but not least of the swing states, number five, Arizona. Why don't we take a look here? Oh, no, this is the average. This is all of them together. You take them all together. What's the story that you see? Now I want you to compare the story that you see here. This is the average of all the swing states taken together. I want you to, com I want you to contrast that with the national. Okay. And if you look at this, and I think... So, and maybe I'm going to be annoying and ask you to toggle back and forth. But look at this, down 1.6, plus 1. Now go back to the swing state average. Go back to number 5. The verdict here is it's tighter in the swing states hmm. than it was nationally. And the movement in the polls that we saw nationally, we haven't seen in the same way in the swing states. Hmm. Why? Is it because people are getting bombarded with ads and that they, they knew these things earlier and have been affected by these things more? But that's the kind of sassafras that we'll be looking for <laughs> on election night. Uh, real quick, so the quote-unquote persuadables, were, they were Trump, meh, who ended up coming back home? The story of this election in a lot of ways is that the Republican Party has been more unified behind Donald Trump in this cycle than they have at any time in the past. The reason- We saw that in the primary. We saw it in the primary, and that Donald Trump started from a higher place, and we didn't have to go through the whole kabuki dance right. that we did in 2016 and 2020, where Republicans said, ah, oh, gee, Willikers, I don't know yeah, if I'm right. gonna support Donald Trump. They all almost all ended up supporting Donald Trump. Now the Republicans who are against Trump are against him, and the ones that are for him have been for him for a long time. That's why the polls have been stable, stable, stable. Now we just have to wait and see. Here, here's the thing. Okay, what's the thing? We don't know who's voting. Right, right? that's right. We don't know. So we, I, I, at the American Enterprise Institute today, we had a great pollster panel, talked to two of the best pollsters in the business, one Republican, one Democrat. They'll tell you. They have a guess about what the electorate's going to look like, but we don't really know. It's, this is a big deal because we, after 2020, there's a lot of uncertainty in who's really in this electorate right. for 2024. It's still the shoulder shrug emoji. Yeah. Eh, we'll see. Get a hunch and bet a bunch. Um, you're going to get great transparency here. Election night, Chris, uh, DDHQ. I, I want you real quick to walk the viewers behind. As the numbers come in and you start to look at them, and Scott Traynor and DDHQ start to look at them, what we're gonna be doing here on News Nation. I'm personally victimized by this because <laughs> right. for a long time, what I love to do is be part of calling races and be part of the team mm -hmm. calling races. But instead, I'll be sitting over at that desk annoying the team okay, there from you go. DDHQ. That's an upgrade. Huh? As, as, no, it's not an upgrade. I, I, the Nerdquarium is where I belong, right. but I'm gonna be doing this. And part of the, the idea here is the promise of News Nation, if it is news for all Americans, yep. 
what people want on election night is fast, accurate calls. Mm -hmm. and we're going to do it fast, and it's going to be accurate. We're, that's our aim, and we don't need to kiss anybody's patootie and make yep. them feel better about it. We can do, treat them like grown-ups and tell them what the news is. We're going to be transparent about it, and we've got a great team at DDHQ. Indeed, indeed. Great team there. Steyerwalt here as well. Thank you, sir. Uh, just six days away from the biggest night in politics, don't you know? Here is where the presidential race stands, according to the polling averages from DDHQ. It's part of our election night coverage. News Nation is partnering with, as I mentioned, DDHQ to bring you the data-driven results in real time. Do we have the average? I don't know. It was there. I saw it. Oh, was it there? I totally it's had it. Very it was close. Great. It looked mwah, yeah. beautiful. Uh, thank you for watching. And make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.